Next, we're going to look at how to convert polylines into polygons. After importing DXF or DWGs into your project, you'll find that even closed P lines, now a closed P line is a polyline that closes in on itself, is treated as a polyline and not as a polygon, even though AutoCAD users often refer to polygons by the closed P line object. So in our importing DWG DXF folder, right at the root of that, we have a geo package called import complete. In there, we have some polylines. Just drag and drop that into a new project. You'll notice right away, you'll have polylines showing up. It's the downtown area of parcels. And you'll see that the coordinate system automatically changed to EPSG 26910. So we're in the right coordinate system. This is in meters. And this is the downtown section of the city. What I want to do is to be able to convert these polylines into polygons. So I'm going to actually take this polylines that are coming from that geo package and create a brand new shape file of closed polygons rather than having these closed P lines. So let's open up inside our Python console. Under importing DWG DXF in the Python folder, we have a lines to polygons py file. Let's open that up. I'm just going to move this over so we can see it a little better. So you'll see right here, I've put import processing. That's the processing engine. You may not need this. I've added it just in case because I think the processing is automatically added that library, but I just wanted to be sure. We'll take that out after just to check if it's required or not, but I like to get into the habit now. If I'm going to be doing processing and using processing engines to bring in that library into my Python. Okay, so then we say the polylines will be inside of the import complete geo package and the layer name is polylines. Now, where did this big long string come from? Well, actually, if you right click on the polylines and look at its properties and go into the information, you can see the source right here. I could actually copy and paste the source of those polylines. You could see the full path of where the geo package is and you'll see a pipe that's an up and down bar and then the layer name that equals polylines. And that's how I got that. So you can copy that. But the only difference is I have to put double backslashes or forward slashes to escape any of those characters so I can fully get that path. Now, where am I going to put the polygons when I'm done? I'm going to put them right on my desktop. So here's the path to my desktop. Yours obviously will be different. And then I'll just call it parcels.shape. And that'll just put that on my desktop. And then I get to actually run a process. The process is called the lines to polygon tool. Now this exists under processing. So if I go to vector geometry tools, there actually is a lines to polygons tool right here. And that's what that is, lines to polygons. And then I could look at the input. All input is the polylines up above. And the output will be the polygons right there to the shape file. And then once that's processed, I want to add that parcel layer the polygon shapefile to my current session. So let's try this out. We're going to run this script and see what happens. So it does the processing, does the analysis, and then adds that new parcels layer. So that parcels, you can see if I hover, it's on my desktop, it's parcel shape. If I use the identify tool, I'll highlight that layer and use identify. And I pick on one of these parcels. You can see, or there's a few, let's zoom in and just pick on one. There's one there. And you can see, yeah, the layers, parcels, it's got all the data that came from the imported DWG. But now I have a shapefile with all these columns in it and all sorts of information about that shapefile that came from AutoCAD. So I've done the full cycle. I've imported DWG data into this geo package. Then using this processing tool, I converted those closed P lines. I'll turn off the parcels so you can see that and highlight them. These closed P lines into polygons using this tool. And then I added that new polygon shapefile back into my project. So at this point I could save my project or so on. Now, this is an excellent way to have the full cycle from DWG imported into my project and then take those closed P lines and make them into proper polygons. And I'm doing all this with Python.